Hi, my name is Tara. I'm a pediatric physical therapist, and this is a yoga video that is designed for students upper elementary grade through high school, um, specifically for students with special needs. I am not a certified yoga instructor, but as a pediatric physical therapist, I have taken some ongoing continue educa continuing education for working with uh, students with special needs using yoga and Pilates techniques. Um, this is the kind of sequence that I have been consistently using with some of my students, um, again, upper elementary through high school level. Uh, so let's get started. At, um, to start, you can have a yoga mat, a towel, or just work on a carpeted soft area. Um, I think it's ideal to be barefoot. So let's get on our mats, take our shoes off, and begin. Alexa, resume. So I'm going to start standing at the front of my mat, my feet slightly apart, knees straight, hands together, fold your fingers so that you just have your index fingers touching. I call this making my candle. I'm going to breathe in deeply and slowly exhale, blowing out my candle. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and stretch up. And out. Breathe in again. This time rise up on your toes, but try to keep your balance. See if you can keep your feet still. Heels down and arms by your side. Breathe in again and stretch up on tiptoes. Reach for the ceiling tall as you can be, body still, heels down, and arms by your side. One more time, breathe in, stretch up, reach, reach, reach. Now lower your heels and fold forward to monkey pose. Let your head hang down, keep your knees straight, arms reaching towards your toes. It doesn't matter how far you can reach, but try to keep your knees straight. Put your hands on your knees. Pick your head up with a flat back. And now drop forward again into a forward fold. Bend your knees a little bit. Scoop up. Reach up to the ceiling. Up on toes. Heels down. Fold forward. Knees are straight. Reaching down towards the floor, hands on your knees, look up at me. Nice flat back, knees are straight. One more time, bend your knees, scoop all the way up, breathing deeply, reaching towards the ceiling. Heels come down, knees are straight, fold forward, let that head hang heavy. Maybe you're getting a little closer to the floor. Good, now we're gonna bend our knees, hands flat on the floor, and stretch our feet back to plank. One foot, other foot, body is straight. While we're in plank, try not to lift your bottom up and try not to let it sag low. You want your body straight and aligned. Hold here, and now we're gonna lower all the way down to the floor. Hands by your shoulders, Press up to straight arms, leave your belly down for snake pose. Let's try that again. Lower your shoulders down, breathe in and out. Lower down, breathe in and out. Curl your toes under, and now we're gonna send our pockets up to the ceiling for down dog. Arms are straight, head is hanging heavy. Straighten your knees and press your heels towards the floor. Downward facing dog. Let's come forward to plank. Knees are straight, belly's pulled into your spine. Arms are straight, lower down to the floor. Push up to snake, curl your toes under and the hips come up to down dog. Stay here. 
we can lift one leg up behind us for three-legged dog. And then down. Lift your other leg up. And then down. Bring your knees to the floor. Knees come wide, toes together, and sit back for child's pose. Arms stretch out in front of you, forehead to the floor. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. One more time. Breathe in and out. Nice job. Let's come up to hands and knees. And we're gonna start with a simple twist. So you want your knees under your hips, your hands under your shoulders, feet are flat, fingers are spread. Make sure that your palms are open and your hands are flat. In this position, we're going to take our right hand and we're going to reach it up towards the ceiling, looking up towards the ceiling in our hand. And come back to hands and knees. Let's repeat that with our left hand. Breathe in and out. And return. One more time on each side, right hand to the ceiling. And down. And left hand. And down. We're now gonna go into a bird dog position. So I want you to stretch one leg out behind you. I'm doing my left leg. Knee is straight. And now I'm gonna lift my right arm straight ahead of me, keeping my head up. So opposite arm and leg, and hold. Now lower, and switch sides, right leg behind you, left arm in front, and hold. One more time on the other side, left leg, right arm, and hold, and switch again. Right leg, left arm, and hold. Nice job. Back to hands and knees. We're gonna do some cat-cow in this position. So I'm gonna start with angry cat. I'm going to look down at my knees, lift my belly button to my spine, and arch my back to the ceiling. Now I'm gonna look up towards the ceiling, a little bend in my elbows, and let my belly hang down for cow. Breathe in to angry cat, belly button in, arch your back. And now let your belly hang down, look up towards the ceiling for cow. Angry cat. And cow. Good job. Let's come back to neutral spine. So our looking straight ahead, our back is straight. And we're gonna come all the way up tall to our knees. We wanna make sure we're up nice and tall in this position. So let's go from sitting down on our heels to back up tall on knees. One more time, we're gonna sit on our heels. And now come all the way up tall. In this position, we're gonna to move to dragon pose. I'm gonna take my left foot, put it in front of me so my foot is flat, and bring my hands up to the ceiling. I'm going to breathe in and lean forward. <sighs> breathe out. Breathe in and shift forward. Breathe in up tall, and now my right hand is going to come to the floor, 
Legs are staying still, left arm to the ceiling for twisting dragon. Look up at the ceiling. Two hands come up tall again. Now see if your other hand can come to the floor and twist. Two hands up. We're gonna put our hands on our head and we're going to switch feet. I have my right foot in front, two hands up, breathe in and out. Up tall, breathe in and out. And one more, breathe in and out. Come up nice and tall. My left hand is going to the floor. My right hand is going to reach to the ceiling for twisting dragon. Two hands up and see if your other hand can come to the floor. Two hands up, hands on your head, two knees on the floor. And this is what I call, I'll tell the kids is my magic trick. We're gonna cross our ankles behind us and we're gonna sit onto the floor, crisscross applesauce without putting our hands on the floor. All the way down, legs in front, hands down. I'm gonna put my feet on the floor, flat in front of me. And I'm going to take my hands and put them a little bit behind my hips with my fingers pointing towards my toes. Again, hands are flat. I'm going to press down and lift my bottom up into table pose. I want you to look at your knees, don't let your head hang back, and hold your belly up as high as you can making a flat table. Pushing through flat feet and flat hands. And lower back down. Lift up again to table and hold. And back down. One more time, we're coming up to table. And if you want an extra challenge, you can try lifting one foot up in front. Lower. And other foot. Hold that table up nice and tall. Don't let your hips sag. Foot down and lower. Shake your arms out. I'm gonna put my feet together, knees apart. Sit up nice and tall with your chest high for butterfly. Knees are coming up and down. And stay here for two breaths. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And one more time, breathe in and out. I'm gonna take my hands, put them inside my feet, scoop under my ankles, lean back, keeping my chest tall, and lift my feet off the floor for flower. So I'm balancing on my bottom with my chest up tall. And lower. You can do flower again or add an extra challenge. I'm going to grab the big toes of both of my feet. I'm going to come up to flower, hold here. You can open up one leg or both legs and balance in this position. Bring feet together and lower. Feet come in front of us, feet are flat. Sit up nice and tall. I'm going to bring my arms out in front of me. I'm going to lean back a little bit, keeping my chest high and my belly muscles in tight. I'm going to lift one foot in front of me and hold here. Breathe in and out. Let's try switching and doing your other foot. Breathe in and out. And now we're going to do a full boat pose. I'm going to show three different options. You can start with your hands by your knees, lean back and pick your feet up and hold here. You can try letting go of your knees and holding this position. 
or for a full boat pose, you can stretch your legs out tall, arms outstretched for boat pose. Find your own challenge. Lower your feet, sit up tall. We're gonna come all the way to standing and we'll try a few standing balance poses. Find the challenge that's right for you. I'm gonna start with victory pose. I'm gonna bring my hands together and let's take a breath here just to settle our focus. Breathe in and out. One more time in and out. I'm gonna pick my right foot up, bring my knee high, straighten my leg in front of me and raise my arms into a V for victory and hold. If you lose your balance, that's fine. Just try and get it back. And down. Let's try our left leg. Knee high. Stretch that leg out straight. Arms in a V. And hold. And down. We're gonna try tree pose. I'm gonna give you some options. I'm gonna start with my hands together and you can just pick your one foot up so that you have toes still resting on the floor and my heel is on my ankle. And you can stay here. If you need to, you can hold on to a chair gently for balance. I can raise that foot up a little bit higher so it's on the inside of my leg. Try not to press right on your knee You'd rather be up on your thigh. So either below the knee or above the knee. And if you have your balance here, you can raise your branches to the sky. Some of your trees might be a little bit windy, a little wavy, that's okay. Try to steady your body and hold your balance. If you lose it, just try to get it back. And it's fine to be down low or to use that chair for balance if you need to. Let's try our other side. Hands together to start, breathe in and out. Lift up your left foot. You can leave your toes on the floor. Fold a chair if you need to or bring that other foot up higher onto your thigh. Knee turns out. Body is tall. Branches to the sky. Breathe in and out. It will help your balance if you can focus on one spot in front of you. So if there's something in the room in front of you that's not moving, try to focus your eyes there. That will help you keep your balance. Hands down. One final standing pose we're gonna to try today is airplane pose. So I'm gonna start with my legs straight, hands by my side with my palms facing forward. I'm going to lean forward, stretching one leg out behind me and my arms by my side, palms facing the floor. And back to standing. Let's try our other side. I'm gonna do my left foot now. This is my trickier side. Fold forward, bottom leg is straight, top leg is straight. Palms facing the floor and hold. And down. Nice job. Let's come to sitting on our mat. And now we're gonna roll all the way back onto our backs for our final pose, which is called Savasana, or it's a resting pose. So I want you to lie on your back, put your hands by your side with your palms facing up and your legs stretched out in front of you. You can let your toes fall wide so that your whole body is relaxed. I want you to close your eyes gently and let your lips come apart just a tiny bit so you're not holding any tension in your jaw. And in this pose, we're just gonna take some nice gentle breaths. So I'm gonna get into Savasana, Savasana now too. Stretching my body out Palms up, feet relaxed, eyes closed, 
lips parted. And in this position, try to push all the thoughts out of your head and just be, be still and be quiet. We're going to breathe in and out. Try to release any tension in your muscles. So if you feel tightness in your hands or your shoulders, your belly or your thighs, just try to let them relax. Let gravity pull you into the floor. Breathe in and out. Now let's all take a nice deep breath together. Fill your lungs as deeply as you can. Breathe in. All the way, hold it. And push that air out. Breathe in again. Fill your lungs deeply and hold. And breathe out. And one last time, breathe in. Hold. And out. I want you to bend your knees, roll to either side, and come up to sitting crisscross on your mat. We're going to bring our hands together, sit up nice and tall, fold your fingers, make your candle. We're going to take a nice breath in and out. Breathe in and out. And one more time together, in and out. And have a nice day. Thank you for joining me for yoga.